and welcome to your introduction to the harp. My name's Anne and I'm a harpist with the BBC Concert Orchestra and I also play for other ensembles like the Contemporary Experimental Quartet, the Burmese Experiment. From 2015 to 2019 I was official harpist to His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. But one of the things I love the most about my job is that I get to teach lots of fantastic people the harp, ranging from ages just six all the way up to 90. So let's get started. So, in the UK there are two main types of harp, although harps come in all sorts of shapes and sizes all across the globe. Here we have a lever harp, or a folk harp, and this is a slightly smaller instrument and it might well be what you would start playing if you started to learn the harp. Now, it's called a lever harp because at the top of the strings here you can see there's a series of levers that we can put up and down and that changes the notes. And up. So I've got 34 strings. And each of those strings can be two different notes depending on where the lever is sitting. Today I'm going to concentrate though on the concert or pedal harp just behind me. So this is the concert or pedal harp and this is the kind of harp you would usually see playing with a big symphony orchestra. It has a bigger sound than the lever harp and it has more strings. So on this harp I have 47 strings. Now, the really big long strings here at the bottom, they're wound in metal and they create a really low bass sound. Whereas the tiny little strings here, they're both thin and short, create a very high sound. I'm sure you can also see that I've got different coloured strings. And this is just to help me know where I am. So all of the black strings are Fs and all of the red strings are C's. Now, you might be thinking, if the other one was a lever harp and this one is a pedal harp, where are the pedals? And you're about to find out. So here we are with the bird's eye view of the back of the pedal harp. And now we see where it gets its name from. So as you can see, there are seven pedals and each pedal has three different positions. Highest, which for us is flat, middle, which for us is natural, and bottom, which for us is sharp. And these pedals change the length of the strings, causing the pitch to change. I love the most about the harp is the most incredible range of sounds you can achieve on the instrument. We don't just play traditional harpy sounds, we can play percussive sounds, we can play scary sounds, we can play all sorts of noises and types of tone that you might not expect to hear on the harp. So here's a short little improvisation showing off just some of those fantastic sounds.
So, how do we start learning the harp? Well, when we're playing the harp, we use four fingers. We use our thumb, what we call our second finger, our third finger, and our fourth finger. We don't use our little finger on either hand, and that's simply because with the correct hand position, the little fingers can't reach the strings. When we start to learn, the most important thing is first of all to make sure you're sitting correctly. So, you never want to bend yourself around the harp. You need to be sitting nice and comfortably with a nice natural curve at your, in your back and the harp comes towards you slightly off centre so that it doesn't hit you <laughs> in the face and then rests on your knees and it should balance really lightly on your knees so that it doesn't feel heavy. If you're struggling to get that nice balanced feeling, try adjusting the height of your chair and have a bit of an experiment because it can be that you need to sit slightly higher or slightly lower because all our bodies are different and we need to find the right balance so that we're not taking the full weight of this heavy instrument while we're playing. So once you're sitting comfortably and the heart feels nice and light, we start by learning how to use the second finger. So, as if you were pointing at someone, you take your second finger, hook it around a string and pull. And in the other hand, Now you'll notice my thumbs are nice and high and out of the way. That's really important. Try not to let them fall into the hand because they get in the way. They need to be nice and high and out of the way. So second finger again. A few more detailed things. You'll see that my fingers are pointing diagonally. They're not going straight down. They're not going across, they're going halfway in between, they're going diagonally. And you want to try and cut your finger pad in about half or the last third where the string sits on it. And then we put the pressure on and when we play the string, we must follow all the way through to the palm with that finger. So the finger needs to touch the palm as if it was pressing a button on the palm after it's played the note. And it's really important that the arm, the right arm, is resting lightly on the edge of the harp because that gives it some support and shows that you're in the right area of the harp. The left hand, you'll have noticed, is playing the lower part of the, the harp and the right hand is playing the upper part. The left hand has exactly the same hand position but you'll see that my left arm isn't on the harp because it's too, it's too high up, it doesn't work. So it's just the right hand that gets the benefit of sitting on the harp. So let's try scale with both hands. things about learning the harp is that you get to play two different things at the same time. So now let's try with the right hand starting on C as we just did and the left hand starting two strings higher so on E. your introduction to the harp. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found it interesting and enjoyable. Fingers crossed 
you might be interested in taking up this fantastic instrument and starting your musical journey. Bye!